of these people. How are you, friends? Hey, you. Doing good. How are you guys doing? I'm good. So I heard about this story on Monday. Um, actually, I have to move the slides now. There you go. Uh, so, uh, but I found this tweet first uh, from Alex Rubenstein. He basically said, Mexican President Almo said he will raise the issue of the prosecution of journalist Julian Assange during his meeting with Joe Biden and campaigned to have the Statue of Liberty dismantled if Assange is not free, hashtag free Assange. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, so this took a while to find, but I found an article that gave, gives a little bit more information on this. Um, so I'm just gonna call him Almo for the sake of time. Yes. I'm not gonna try all this in this name. Mm-hmm. No offense. Um, but uh, Almo to campaign to tear down the Statue of Liberty if the US convicts Julian Assange. The president of Mexico says that he will intercede in favor of the founder of WikiLeaks when he visits his American counterpart, counterpart Joe Biden on next month, went Tuesday, I guess. It yeah, is. July 12th. Yeah. Yeah. So Almo has come out in defense of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange and has asked that U- U.S. authorities drop the charges against him. If they take him to the United States and he is sent into the maximum penalty and to die in prison, we must start a campaign to tear down the Statue of Liberty, said the president, who often goes by his initials Almo at his news conference on Monday. The Mexican leader added that he will discuss the issue with his counterpart, Joe Biden, during his upcoming visit to the White House on July 12th. Mm. Almost comments followed information published this weekend by the Washington Post and the organization Reporters Without Borders, criticizing the situation of insecurity and violence experienced by members of the media in Mexico. 12 journalists have been murdered in the country so far this year at a rate of two murders a month. It's a smear campaign against the government of Mexico, the president asserted on Monday. Gotcha. Convicting Assange would imply that the monument in New York is no longer a symbol of freedom, said Almo. The Mexican president said that he already discussed the issue with former U.S. President Donald Trump. There can be no more silence, he added. Assange is wanted in the U.S. on 18 counts, including a spying charge relating to WikiLeaks release in 2010 of vast troves of confidential U.S. military records and diplomatic cables, which Washington has said put lives in danger. Its extradition was recently approved by the United Kingdom following a long legal battle. The activist has lived at the Ecuadorian embassy in London for seven years between 2012 and 2019 before being turned over to British authorities. Courts in Spain were also involved after it emerged that the head of a Spanish firm employed to provide security at the embassy had secretly made recordings of Assange speaking with his lawyers and may have conveyed this information to the CIA. Assange supporters said he is an anti-establishment hero who has been victimized because he exposed U.S. wrongdoing in conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq, and that his prosecution is a politically motivated assault on journalism and free speech. When this information was released, various media participated in this publication, and they agreed to release all the information because they considered that it was a contribution to the defense of human rights, to the freedom of expression, not to continue with the double talk, with the lies, was saying one thing and doing another, said Alma. Alma was invited to Washington after announcing that he was not going to participate in the America's summit organized by the Biden government at the beginning of last month in protest of the fact that Nicolas Maduro of Venezuela, Miguel Diaz Canel of Cuba, and Daniel Ortega of Nicaragua were not invited. Ever since Ecuador withdrew Assange's asylum, the Lopez Obrador administration has considered offering diplomatic protection to the founder of WikiLeaks. And there have been contacts between the lawyers who represent him and the Mexican Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The president himself endorsed the offer in May and June, but so far the asylum has not materialized. Hmm. Okay, that's it. So nice. Oh. I mean, for me, you know, like just seeing a lot of stuff on Twitter, you know, like there's talk that Almo is kind of distracting using this. Um, issue with Assange to kind of uh, steal away from the issues as far as journalists in Mexico. That being yeah. said, broken clock can be right. <laughs> uh-huh. So, you know, mm-hmm. so it's just the idea of like, at least there's someone, you know, in the global sphere who is willing to talk about Assange and is I mean, willing to talk to Joe, Bi- well, 
you know, we'll see what happens from that. But I think the idea that he's willing to do that and kind of speak to Joe Biden about it, I think it's noteworthy, at least to me, even though he might be wrong in other areas. Um, I think the well. threat with the Statue of Liberty is quite interesting as well, because no one ever really calls America out on being hypocritical. And so mm. I think um, to go after such a symbol, um, you know, when America, I mean, America is pure propaganda. So to go after a symbol like that, to say that you're not actually living out these values, <laughs> um, I mean, it's time. We're going to get called out. It's time that we do. So yeah. it, it, that's pretty interesting that um, another leader is willing to go yeah. in that route. But I think that that's the route that you have to go to actually make a splash. Like people mm -hmm. won't care about what he's talking about, but the fact that he said like, and he's going at the Statue of Liberty, that mm -hmm. people will care about. I mean, yeah. like, I mean how interesting. Well, um, I mean, he's serious about this. He offered him asylum. That's like, whoa. I mean, I, I do kind of wonder maybe did he offer it too late because you know maybe could have done it before he got extradited but right. um you know but interesting that he put that on the table right yeah um yeah I I I, I think definitely is a little too late like you could have done this a long time ago um right, right. <laughs> I I do wonder what his plan for like tearing down the Statue of Liberty is like I mean the Ghostbusters had to use the power of love to even get it to move. Wow. So excellent movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. Um, but like, and there's not enough marshmallow fluff. Big lasso. You get in the boat, <laughs> right out there. Lasso it. Pull that thing down, okay? And that's right. It. That'd be. That's I'm down. Important. I'm down for seeing that. I mean, I wonder so how the. the I wonder how they did it in the Planet of the Apes. I think it took like a million years for that to happen in that movie, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it's just well, sand, I right? think I think yeah, yeah, maybe the water just evaporated. So or the well, it's like a bunch of tectonic shift or yeah, something like that. Happened. I don't think they explained it very well. Um, <laughs> I think I think they had other plans for that movie. Um, but anyway.